If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Katinka Hozu may be the most exciting swimmer in the world today. Leading by example, she's a true pro like none we've ever seen. Winning two goals and a bronze at the World Championships in Barcelona. Claiming the overall FINA World Cup last fall. Racing in 122 long course meters races over 2013, from which she netted in excess of $500,000 in purse money. Not bad. And she's interesting, approaching the sport in ways that most people find different. Her coach, husband Shane Tussup, a former D1 swimmer at USC where they trained together. But more on that later. Why is Katinka driven to race so much so fast? It probably seems like I just swim everywhere but we usually have a schedule for the whole year and we know which meet what we want to hit and when and what are the goals for each meet. So we usually go to swim for, with a purpose. Uh, sometimes I do swim all the races. Sometimes we focus on specific uh, specific events. So um, I, I really like to race. That's actually that's the that's the main main reason why I swim so so often because I really like to race and we kind of use this as practice as well. Okay, Katinka likes to race. But what's really driving her? Coming in fourth in the Olympics, I wasn't sure how much I will be earning with swimming as non-Olympic um, medalist. But you know, it was always Shane's plan to to make me a professional swimmer. Actually, not make me, but help me to be a professional swimmer. And uh, honestly, at the beginning, I wasn't sure if it's gonna work. But he he was behind me and he was pushing me, and he knew it's gonna work. So. I think we are a great team and uh, it's working so far. So hopefully, uh, you know, our big goal is to to make uh, to get a medal in Rio. So hopefully, we get there. There's more to the story than Katinka shared. We talked a lot off camera. Her fourth place finish at her third Olympic Games was tough. It was emotionally crushing, and her husband Shane helped get her confidence back. After London, she was really upset. We kind of had to drag her out of bed. I put her in front of the mirror, told her. You know, you had the worst experience of your entire life. You know, to be so close and yet so far to the one thing you've always wanted your entire career. Well, if you can handle that, then what are you going to be afraid of? So just go after it, see what you got, train hard, and I mean, if you get fourth again, well, it's going to feel the exact same way. So you know, why be afraid of it? The husband coach swimmer relationship, it, it's different, especially with them being the same age. Did Shane plan to be your coach? I never had an intention growing up to be a coach. I actually told my parents and they make fun of me still. I said I will never be a coach, and now they laugh that I'm a coach. Shane, a D1 swimmer from USC with a degree in sports psychology, is unencumbered by convention. The old guard method of training. Katinka and Shane obviously challenged the norm over 2013, swimming so many events at such a high level. In the beginning, their critics were loud, perhaps the loudest before the Mare Nostrum last summer. We're sitting in Debrecen, which is three hours out of Budapest. It's a real uh, farmy city. It's nothing really going on there. It's good for good for training camps, kind of bad for rest because we got kind of bored. So I started playing on the internet, checking out all the swim stuff going on, and I started reading Swim Swim. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, bashing going on. And uh, I entered her in the 100 and 200 backstroke, and uh, I had a plan. I knew what I wanted to do and why I wanted to do it. And uh, trust me, I usually have like three or four, maybe even five plans. So I knew what I wanted to do. And everyone was talking how she needs to fire me and she needs to get rid of me. And I'm retarded. I've never coached. I'm just the husband or the fiance at the time. And this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to destroy her. You know, okay, I don't believe it. I know what I'm doing. I have a purpose. But you know, once that goes to the back of your head, it's, it's kind of tough. Change, innovation, it's often met with harsh criticism. Thankfully, success is the ultimate revenge. Expect Katinka and Shane to tackle more competitions this year than last. The philosophy? To be a pro. To truly change the sport, you have to race often and fast. And you have to work your business. They launched the Two Sports Agency in 2012 out of Budapest, Hungary. 
managing Katinka's career and the careers of athletes across all sports in Europe, and they've been successful being named to Forbes 30 under 30 list. The focus this year in the pool, European Championships, with a huge lineup of events. Is Katinka doing a big rest before that competition? We probably going to be resting for a minute before Europeans will like to see where we are at and what we need to work on still, because it's definitely a lot different when you rest for a meet and when you are just going from really hard work. So, so we like to see maybe around May, we will probably rest for a minute and then see how it goes. Will she share gold times in the 200 and 400 IM? No. <laughs> None? No, I, I, I do like to keep it myself. good. NBA is by far the best sponsor, athlete, business as a whole setup. So it's, it's not so much that I just want to press and see what we can do. I think Katinka can agree with me on this and she's one of the big, the big I mean obviously she's doing it so she's a big force for it. She, she didn't agree with how the sport was being done and I didn't agree either and I, I said if you do it this way, if you start doing this, you'll see, you'll see results and it kind of evolved from there. I think that we can change swimming and it could be a professional sport. It just, you got, I mean, to be a swimmer and to not want to race, I mean, get paid to race. So you got to be willing to race, you got to be willing to do different things and be uncomfortable. For Katinka, it's, it's multiple, it's multifaceted. Obviously, part of my program is designed this way and to get her in the best shape I can. And I told Katinka, if you want to lead, if you want to make change, you lead from the front. You do it. Don't tell people to do stuff. You do it. You make a change and it'll it'll follow. And she's been pretty good at that. 